What's up everybody? Thanks for joining me. It's Dr. Daniel Ricciardi. In this video today, I'm going to get into diets for SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. What are the different ones? And then what are some of the strategies I personally use when I was treating my own SIBO? So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so what should I eat? It's a question that's constantly getting asked depending on what your goal is, whether it be SIBO or something else. And everything you read online, whoever is posting it is saying, without question, 100%, that's the best diet you could possibly do or the best info. Whether it be losing weight, building muscle, SIBO, um, trying to get your hamster to love you more, it literally doesn't matter. Um, this video is gonna try to kind of break through some of that stuff and just show why a lot of the diets can be effective and we're gonna go from there. Uh, the hamster thing might be true though, by the way. So in terms of the best diet, who really knows? Uh, for two reasons, uh, to the best of my knowledge, they've never been all compared in the same study to see which one's better. And secondly, everyone has different goals and stuff they're willing to and to not give up while they're doing the treatment. So although all the diets um, could potentially work, there's really not one that's been definitively proved to be the best. Some of the most popular diets for SIBO include the low FODMAP diet, which is very popular, the biphasic diet, a specific carbohydrate diet, there's the GAPS diet, low sugar diet, low fermentation diet. There's a lot of different other ones as well. So I kind of went through and read about all the different diets online. And if you weren't extremely confused before when reading and trying to figure out what to do, you sure as hell are now. Um, a lot of them differ very fundamental things to me. Like, oh, are you allowed to eat broccoli? Some say yes, some say absolutely not. So it just depends on what you look. And it kind of leads to the question, does the diet actually really matter that much? And to answer the question, probably not for these diets that I mentioned before, uh, for the main reason that these diets, they're, they're not actually curing the SIBO, the antimicrobials are. Those foods and these diets are just to manage some symptoms. Um, there is, however, one diet that is the food and the actual treatment in itself. That's called the elemental diet. Basically, they're tubs of powder that you can buy. They're pre-digested foods. You mix them into smoothies, and that's all you drink or eat for a few weeks. Uh, the pros are if you hate taking pills, it may be a solution for you that works. Uh, cons, that's super expensive, can easily be over $1,000. Tastes bad, and that's the only thing you're allowed to taste for weeks. So that's the elemental diet. Okay, so finally we get to what I actually ate during my SIBO treatment. So basically, as you can see here, this is a normal meal for me that I ate during my treatment and actually still to this day. So it's some kind of meat, uh, sweet potato, vegetable, egg, cheese, fruit. I ate that every day in a variety of different types of specific foods. Um, during the actual SIBO treatment, I did cut out gluten, dairy, sugar, and alcohol mostly because these things can cause a lot of inflammation in the GI tract for a lot of people. I even cut out um, grains as well and replaced them with potatoes just for a little bit easier of digestion. Uh, from the clip, I am eating cheddar cheese now, which I didn't do during my SIBO treatment, but I really like it and it doesn't seem to be causing me any issues now, so I threw it back in. Uh, last thing is intermittent fasting, something I really stand strongly for. It's good for a lot of reasons, including waiting four hours in between meals. This kind of helps reset the migrating motor complex and lets it clear all that undigested food in your intestines over those time. So that's my diet. Let me know what questions you have. And if you haven't already, go to the link below here. You'll find my website and you can get my free bloating and gas guide there. Uh, thank you all. Have a good day.